you'll notice we continue to have clouds migrating at approximately 20 knots from uh, from east to west, uh, heading towards about 290. At the present time, we are scattered at 5,000 feet. We may possibly go broken uh, in between now and T0, but progging these clouds out, we should be scattered or anticipating forecasting scattered at 5,000 feet at T0. Taking a look at the radar, we do have some isolated showers out west of the pad that were coming in from the water now west of the pad. Just a small thread of a light drop or two of rain uh, through T0 or through the window. Taking a look at the winds on a complex 41, uh, present winds are gusting up to uh, 19 knots. We did have peaks up to 26 knots as those, uh, as those uh, uh, light showers move through. We should expect to see gusts uh, up to about 24 knots through the balance of the, of the, of the uh, window. Winds from the east and expect them to stay from the east through the balance of the window. No change in temperature to speak of uh, presently uh, 76 degrees at this time and we shouldn't have any significant change in that through the balance of the window. Uh, this is uh, HR 1, 2, and 3, pretty good agreement and not expecting a significant change. All LCCs are go at this time. In terms of the forecast, looking for scattered at T0. So at T0, scattered at 5,000 feet, and we'll continue to monitor should we not go at the beginning of the window or going into a broken condition. But expecting uh, scattered conditions to 5,000 feet at T0, seven miles visibility, winds from the east at 20, gusting to 25, isolated showers persisting, and temperature should be a little warmer than that, 75 to 76. 30% chance of violation, no change in the 24 hour. No change in the 48 hour, no threat of lightning, and uh, proton flux remains at normal background levels and expected to remain so through the count. This concludes the weather repenting your question, sir. I apologize, uh, proton flux is slightly elevated, but well below the con constraint, sir. Thank you, coordinator. T minus six minutes. Fuel fill sequence complete. Roger. T-minus five minutes. Start lowest data acquisition. Roger. Atlas LO2 at flight level. Roger. Centaur LO2 at flight level. Roger. Centaur LH2 at flight level. Roger. LC switch to ready position. Launch on time verified. Roger. Status check to proceed with terminal count. Atlas systems. Propulsion. Go. Hydraulics. Go. Pneumatics. Go. LO2. Go. Water. 
Go. Centaur Systems. Propulsion. Go. Pneumatics. Go. LO2. Go. LH2. Go. Hasgas. Go. Electrical Systems. Airborne. Go. Ground. Go. Facility. Go. RFFTS. Go. Flight Control. Go. Instrumentation. Go. Com. Go. GCQ. Go. Umbilicals. Go. ECS. Go. Redline Monitor. Go. Quality. Go. OSM. Go. ULA Safety Officer. Go. Range, weather, and clear to proceed. Go. LC, this is the LD on channel one. LC, you have permission to launch. Roger. Proceeding with the count. NLM, this is SMD on NLM. Go ahead, SMD. SMD would like to report that the spacecraft is on internal power and it's configured for launch for a T0 of 15 colon 02 colon 00. Copy, SMD. MSL is configured for launch. While I have your attention, I want to wish the entire team that supported MSL good luck and Godspeed. It's been a long, challenging journey getting here, and we're proud to start you on the way to Mars shortly. NLM out. Thank you very much, NLM. We really appreciate the thought. 1458 Zulu. One fifty nine. Vehicle power internal. One fifty five. On sequence of start. One fifty. Securing center L O two. Securing center L H two. One forty. Launch enable. FTS armed. One twenty. Work is armed. FCS count started. Produce ECS for launch. Roger. One ten. That valve's locked. T minus one minute and counting. Lock report range status. Range status green. Step three. T minus 30 seconds and counting. 28. ECS reduced for launch. 25. Roger. Status check. Go Atlas. Go Centaur. T minus 15 seconds. T minus 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Main engine start, zero, and liftoff of the Atlas V with curiosity. Seeking clues to the planetary puzzle about life on Mars. And the program is in right on time. 180 operating person plus as expected. And throttling down to 76 percent. Program complete. And MSL is now breaking the sound barrier. SRB chamber pressures following the nominal curve. Everything will Pass through max Q. We're on closed loop on Atlas PU. Signatures as expected. SRB profile continues to look nominal. Throttling back up to 100% thrust on the RD-180. Engine parameters looking good. Flight control disturbances look as expected. SRB 
pressures running right as expected. Coming up on SRB burnout, we have burnout of the SRBs. Everything is looking good. 10 seconds to SRB jet. And we have first pair and second pair. Both sets of SRBs have successfully jettisoned the vehicle. We have re-enabled guidance. Everything is looking good. This is Rob Gannon, our United Launch Alliance telemetry manager we're hearing. Vehicle is now 32 nautical miles in altitude, 54 miles downrange, traveling at 4,900 miles per hour. And we've throttled down to hold a constant 2.5 G level for payload fairing jettison. Fired the pyro valve, pressurizing the RCS bottle. Pressure increasing in the loop as expected. Now we're hitting our 2.5 G limit coming up on payload fairing. Edison, approximately 10 seconds. Bearing jet. And we also have a successful CFLR jettison, but as expected, throttling up on the RD-180, everything looking good. Coming up to 89% thrust. And we are now entering our constant 4.6G acceleration throttle phase. Everything looking good. We've started to boost phase chill down. Housing temps are responding. Coming up on booster engine cutoff. Expecting VECO in 10 seconds. Safety ADUs. We have BECO, retro rockets, and stage separation. We have pre-start on fuel and locks. Ignition and full thrust. Since our main engine is up and running as expected. Everything looking good. Steering has been enabled. We have sent our PU to fixed angles, right as expected, and we've begun our reaction control system thermal conditioning firings. Everything looking good. And the vehicle is now 102 nautical miles in altitude, 570 miles downrange, traveling at 13,700 miles per hour. And we're now in the early portions of a nearly seven-minute first burn of Centaur. Engine continues to operate normally. Good steady-state operating pressures. And the vehicle is 150 miles in altitude, 1,250 miles downrange, traveling at 15,000. At 15,000 miles per hour. Center PU has come off the stop. It is actively controlling. Engine Andrews, uh, east is ready for the handoff from Antigua. Pressures look good. RCS temps. 
reacting as expected, studied out. Ten seconds to make a one. We have cut off. Normal shutdown signatures. We have four S engines on as expected.